Hi, I'm Nicole Brown, and this is my reflection on The Mask of the Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe. Um, the beginning of this, uh, story, it kind of depicted the prince as, like, like, a coward, and it talked about the different rooms, the apartments, and their different colors, and how everything was, like, it was like a fairy tale in the sense that everything was perfect in the prince's mind except the the grandfather clock which chimed and like it was like suddenly like everything was scary i think that that all those like little things that kind of connected which i just explained really fast but um those little things really kind of mounted up to like the ending where it showed the prince as that more heroic type character when he finally overcame his fear of the Red Death or the Plague. And I think it really shows that sometimes people face their fears because they know they're going to happen anyway. In terms of historical significance, I think that this kind of plays like a, like it shows an aspect of the plague that we wouldn't always think of. And I think Poe, you know, when writing about this, I, like, as a prince, it was kind of, like, renaissance like, typical prince. But then it kind of changed because he overcame his fears. He became that heroic character. And I think it shows, like, some people with the plague overcame that fear of getting it. They were like, okay, it's going to happen anyway. I need to just face it. I need to fight it and do what I can. Because the plague wiped out so many people in you know, in this piece, he saw that, you know, the Red Death was a a graveyard, or a person who came from a cemetery dead, who killed a bunch of people at this, at these apartments, and I think it's, it's very much a spin off of the actual plague, and what was happening at that time. I think by ad- adding that kind of renaissance element of the prince with the rooms and the tapestries and like all these little specifics the colors the royalty it just makes it more fantasy like a little bit more dark creepy and it's something that I think as a reader you read about that and it's very captivating because you wonder what is the significance of this death and then you make that connection to the plague and I think it's something that is very interesting to see that that aspect that comparison